always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Just after 6.15 now and temperatures still trending a bit above normal for today. Our average high typically sits in those mid to upper 40s across the board. It is 50 degrees right now in Grand Rapids if you're stepping out the door. 47 in Allegan as well as in Hastings and a slightly cooler up to the north. 48 in Big Rapids as well as in Mount Pleasant. A look at Storm Track Live. We are in kind of a nice pattern here. High pressure is building off to our southwest, keeping us dry and keeping us free of that cloud cover. We did see a weak cold front come in our vicinity, but that is trailing off to the east coast, bringing some snow there. No snow in sight for us, at least for the time being. Temperatures tonight, though, will be cool as you're waking up tomorrow morning. We'll be near that freezing mark, and with clear skies and a weak northerly wind, we could have areas of frost, so keep that in mind. Temperatures, though, will rebound quickly, topping off in the mid to upper 50s for highs in the afternoon, and a lot of sunshine expected in the mix there as well. So it's a quiet future cast with the exception of those winds turning tonight, we will have some cloud cover into our Tuesday. I'm not sure it'll be as clear as we saw today. We'll still call it mostly sunny through about four or five o'clock, and then cloud cover really does take over. It'll be overcast for some of us, mostly cloudy for others, and we'll hold on to that overnight. But into Wednesday, we come back to mostly sunny skies. Temperatures a bit warmer, topping off near 57. Winds will be a bit breezy. West, southwest are starting off southerly at about five to 15 miles per hour, up to 60 degrees on Thursday, partly cloudy skies, but still expected to be the warmest day of the week. The cloud cover moves in ahead of a system that brings us really our only solid rain chance that we have this week. A cold front tracks through overnight and early Friday, bringing a chance for some showers, although it doesn't seem like a complete washout throughout the day. I think most of us will be dry by about noon or one, and we do have the chance to even see some sunshine come the afternoon time. We'll hold on to that sunshine as we move into the week weekend as well. Keep in mind, although almost every single day this week is breezy, we'll have much calmer conditions into the following weekend. High temperatures will continue to stay warm up to 60 on Thursday, as mentioned. A little bit cooler, though, as we head into next week, but really nothing compared to where we were at this time last year. Last year at this time, we were tracking snow almost every single day from the 15th through the 19th, a grand total of only almost 27 inches. No snow in sight for us, though, now. And plenty of sunshine for Tuesday and Wednesday, highs in the mid to upper 50s, up to 60 on Thursday, and then we'll see that rain chance on Friday. A bit cooler into your weekend, but still should have a good deal of sunshine, a chance for some showers on Sunday, but overall, a very quiet week for November. Yeah, the sun helps. Yeah. It does. Sarah, thanks.